or left hand or at three o'clock base. That's exactly exactly what Rover is doing. Mutal is coming in here, gonna be able to pick off this turret very easy. No Marines, final Marines coming in here. No turrets to protect. Oh man, the fact you're getting attacked. No turrets among those SCVs. Critical mistake by Light here. You should always have a turret close by. Sometimes you're kind of hoping that you know if I can prevent the uh, Zerg from actually flying in the first place, it won't matter. And it's kind of the idea he had there at that north side, upper right hand of his base is corner to kind of put those two turrets there because really prevents his boots from flying in and uh, harassing that natural but his main not as well defended finally gonna be able to get some turrets out there his factory was delayed lost a few SCVs and still doesn't have enough medic reinforce I believe to fight back this middle is gonna pick off one still gonna engage finally has a decent number of Marines thought he wouldn't have quite as many as quite as fast as he does but has been pumping from those barracks like crazy finally do see Rero just popping in into hatchery wondering if this is gonna send a thing he's gonna send a few drones to that position. Actually, a Firebat running in here, spotting that out like, oh, I don't think so. Gonna try to do as much damage as he can, stimming up, and still no drones there, so he's gonna try to get some drone kills. Not gonna accomplish much at all, I think. But at the very least, knows about the position. Gotta maybe prevent mining from there for a little while. And meanwhile, his weapons won his hit in, but Roar was still doing a great job picking, keeping that Mutalist count high. Gonna go for the natural now. One turret there, and a lot of Marines. Zerglings coming in here, gonna be able to pop all those Marines. Most of the Marines gonna go down. Mutalist also gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. Gonna be able to waltz up that ramp. A lot of Marines being caught out in the field. Gonna be forced to run back. The Surge's gonna be taken out. Mutalist gonna be forced back for a little now, but still a lot of Zerglings in there. Finally gonna get cleared up, but Roar with a nice attack, flying those Mutalists out there the second he spotted that m Marines were coming back home and we're going to become a threat. Meanwhile, Firebat on the map with, yeah, almost no health. Um, didn't actually spot the kills on that, unfortunately. But a lot of workers also being transitional. Very, very safe, very standard transition here. From where he's, both players are playing very standard play here in TVZ. Of course, this might, you know, make some players go, ah, TVZ is kind of stale and boring. And interesting enough, Roar actually going to take his drones off that nine knew that that attack was coming uh, just managed to save one uh, two of his drones out of three might not save that three o'clock base because lights gonna be pressuring it a lot but there are a lot of workers in Zergami while crossing across the map these heavy amount of workers might be going for this next expo second bunker gonna come down he's gonna need every single bunker he can get his hands on workers gonna be pressuring putting it on a contain meanwhile Rora gonna lose his third base and light is gonna want to take those forces and bring them back home hope maybe to pincer in the Zerg because he has a lot of his forces caught out in the map second bunker not quite up but he's gonna be able to get some forces in there noise if he's repairing the bunker at the front gonna go down Zerglings also putting a lot of pressure. Second bunker, only one and CVs repairing the bunker. Bunker gonna go down. A lot of workers still out there. Siege tanks with no siege mode going, but he's gonna be able to pressure back when those Zerglings to support them. The workers gonna be forced back. Tanks might actually pick a couple of them off as they run away. And Light just now running back with a few of his forces. Three Marines staying at the three o'clock position just in case a drone, co drone comes in blindly, try to pick up additional base. But Light, nice comeback here for him. We're gonna start working on that siege mode, gonna start working on those science vessels. Second eBay ready up, so he's gonna be one to upgrades as the game goes on. Gonna have weapons two and armor one. Still no upgrades. They haven't even seen an evolution. Yeah, there you go. Does I say that evolution gem ready up? Prevention Ronde yet again. But he's going to be working on his carapace upgrade soon. But Light also going to stay ahead in upgrades this entire game from what I see. He just has to take advantage of that. Zerglings are going to run towards the three-card position. Marines pulling out just in time. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> bunker at the front being put down. So Light playing very solid now. Has all his defenses going. Has his bunkers up so he can defend against lurker attacks at the front. Has science tools. Has siege mode. So he's all in all prepared. Just has to be very careful not to get... Boxed in, uh, get closed in. A lot of workers are gonna come at his natural expo yet again. He has a lot of forces at the lower left hand side, po possibly to move towards the lower left. But they're gonna be able to come in from the back. If Light manages to hold this front, he is gonna be able to have a lot of force coming in from the back. A lot of workers and Zerglings here are gonna be able to get into his natural. Gonna try to get up his ramp. All of his SCVs coming off the line. Not all of them dying. He's gonna manage to save most of his SCVs. Science vessel is in position. Nothing to, to take that science vessel out. One of his tanks probably gonna take out another science vessel coming into position. What are his backup troops finally running in from the back? I think he's gonna lose most of his forces at the front but only a few lurkers here at this point. Most of the Zergans have gone down. Lurkers gonna try to plant themselves outside this barracks. If they manage to do that, they're gonna be able to do a lot of damage. But only four lurkers at this point, and defensive mates is coming off. Even more SCVs trying to run for the lives. A lot of them gonna get picked off, but still, Lord, despite this position, might still not win this. If this attack does not work out for him, I think Light's actually gonna be able to win the game. A lot of lurkers all over the place, but they're finally getting 
gonna be able to be get picked off thanks to science was science also nice attack from Roro picked off a lot of SCVs but did not do overall the damage he needs to he's not expanded still only staying on these two bases I think he had a drone at the lower left hand position which might have actually been picked off I don't know I still think CL slight purple blip there and Scourge still flying around but they're not gonna be able to pick off those science vessels and overall, great play from White, staying in this 1-1 one, one upgrades. Weapons 2 probably going to kick in any second alongside that. And really nice comeback there. Those forces, just Aurora doing a great job of catching White off guard while he has most of his army across the map. But Light manages to fight back just in time to get those reinforcements in. I think that time is a little bit too close for comfort. Lurkers managed to get in close to the production lines among those SCVs. So significant amount of economic damage was done. Uh, but Light still has a large army out there. Still managed to you know, resupply his uh, his worker lines. Still staying on those two basic because he knows his Zerg opponent is on two. So rather than trying to risk an extra expansion, safe for him, just continue producing forces until he's... Excuse me, until he sees there's a opponent going, doing for something else, oh, going for an expanding himself. Uh, Defaller Mound is going to be on the way. Didn't even spot the Hive coming up. Expa uh, Defaller, already, Defaller Mound already on the way, while Rora actually expanding at the lower left-hand position. So he's trying to get a decent position going, but oh, actually moving across the bridges here. Light kind of split up here on two sides. One of the science vessels is going to go down. Managed to save the second science vessel. Catching a lot of those workers. So despite that split, Rora not managing. Actually almost a box in there. Rora almost managed to box himself in. And uh, lost a lot of those forces. Still trying to pick up the old ref hand base. Phones ringing again. Go away. Um, I pretty have, have a pretty good idea of who's calling me. But I uh, can't answer at this very moment. Sorry, guy. I have caller ID. I'll get back to you the second I'm done with this. But Light now pressuring this natural expo. And Rora hasn't even got his third base up now. Light with a very, very large force. Science was at the front. Uh, actually, I feel this, <laughs> feel this uh, sunken colony is actually split fairly nicely. Um, let's see, although I just don't see Aurora for get, uh, way to get back into this game. Rather than defending at the front, is, I think he actually has a few of those forces running and hoping to close Light in and try to do some damage there. But I think Light has way too many forces at the front, has bunkers, and finally Aurora GG's. Light showing his superiority in the matchup, just uh, despite the early nice pressure that Roro had. Light managing to fight back everything, despite slight, slight mistakes from him, they didn't... Uh, come out to bite him and just staying on those two bases managing to fight back managing to deny Roro additional economy and Roro after losing some map control after losing half of his mutilists didn't keep them up and rather than trying to pressure Light in transitioned and that transition just didn't allow him the maneuverability he needed so Light managing to get ahead 1-0 in this series we're going to see what brings on so far I got a couple more first sets to bring you guys in here so let's go working on that GG guys wrenching out the listening hope you enjoyed